Hello, people. This is our Cobra. And Rana and Araja. And Wall on One. And this is Let's Play the Secret Worlds, apparently with Michael Jackson. <laughs> you know, for one who ca claims to be all kinds of chast and shit, the cool crush gripping thing kind of seems out of character. <laughs> <laughs> you have to admit I can actually pull this thing off. I would probably be a lot more impressed if it wasn't an emote. <laughs> Anyway, today we will work with um, the fossils in here before we move on mm. to the more hip and actually evolved crowd. Shut up! Anyway, um, so yeah, let's ask Gosen about everything. Remember, Flutters, we're asking her first, we're not taking questions yet. Sure. Why are you saying sure? When did you become Flutters? <laughs> No, I, was, I, I, I had accidentally clicked on a quest, not taken it, just clicked it open, so I just sort of like, oh okay. yeah, alright. Well, dialogue first. So, let's ask her about herself. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, click. My name is Gozen. I am me. Captain like Lightfoss, apparently. I have the honor of leading the Jingu clan, as did my ancestors stretching back to Queen Himiko herself. Who? There was Tokiwa Gozen, Shizuku Gozen. Oh, Tomo goes in. I remember her. Female samurai. Yeah, along with her sister. If I remember correctly. Um, Kimiko was apparently a legendary female empress, if I remember correctly. Mm. She also showed up in Tomb Raider as a mommy. Mm. Anyway. So, yeah, this is apparently a very old clan. Yeah. Anyway, Tokyo. Mm. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one, click. The explosion. It was more than a bomb. It was a defilement. The city is so wounded. It is a festering sore, oozing with demons, with yokai. Those who survive find themselves in Yomi on Earth. For the few that remain, there is no civilization. Save for what we hide away in our hearts, or carve with our blades. When this began, I told them all that we were defending ashes and embers from the hungry maw of the final days. And any man or woman among us could leave the city. I would think no less of them. I would. Mm -mm. They all stayed. Every last one. But only because they would take the infection of the filth with them out of the city that way. Oh yes, but I'm not sure these guys know that. No, oh. that's why I, why I think I would think less of them, but but not that they would know. It's just like you're t you're doing something stupid here. Yep. Oh, there's some law there by Rana that I hadn't seen before. We'll pick that up afterwards. So the Jinko clan, ready? Yeah. Ready. Yep. Three, two, one, click. We are the Jinko. We are the remains of the samurai in a less civilized time. We hold to the teachings of Shinto. We believe in the kami. We believe in the quiet dignity of honor and responsibility. Rana, stop salivating. But when the time comes, we clang like a terrible bell. We are the song that reminds demons to tremble. We believe fault is what others assign you, and responsibility is what you assign yourself. And we assign ourselves much. We fight to hold what territory we have. To keep it from the loathsome grasp of those who would profit from the misery and chaos. The two remaining gangs. The house in exile. And the Korinto Kai. Yeah. Speaking of the house in exile, ready to hear her opinion on that? Yep, okay. that's the only right. Yeah. Okay, mm. let's hear about them. Personally, my favorites in this mess. But, <laughs> eh, that's just me. Ready? Yeah. Three, Ready. two, one, click. Demons? You wish my counsel on demons? That's why we ask, lady. There are no good demons. Not even dead demons. Even their corpses offend the earth. In Tokyo, there are nine clans of Oni. And oh, this must be a misery time for them. With the skulls and the screams and the ashen shadows stretched out on the subway walls. How 
how they must dance. Nine only clans. And then there is the house in exile. They are demons, shunned by demons. Unwelcome even in the many hells. They are led by the degenerate spirit in Beda. He holds loathsome court in the bathhouse. In Beda profits off the disarray, and now he looks to the outside world. I hear he is currently wooing the Illuminati. I'm sorry, but that really works badly with the way we found him in the bathhouse. Yep, he holds court and boos people. Yeah. You wanna see his mighty club? Owners are famous for those. Yeah, and, you, and, and, and if you really like it, maybe he'll give you a background. Yep. <laughs> but anyway, I, I can imagine you feel at home with these guys, Rana. Partially only at this point. Hmm. Really? I would think that I also talk of honor, responsibility, and... Look, she talks about honor and she talks about tradition and all that, and I can respect that, but her attitude is, now that I have to look, it's a bit uptight. Yeah. Ironic coming from you. I would probably call it hypocrisy if it wasn't because you actually relaxed, started to relax a lot on that front. Indeed. And that's why, again, I think I can speak with a little more open mind. Hmm. Well, it's an interesting character development there, Rana. Anyway, let's ask her about the Korintokai. Ready? Yeah. Aye. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. They are what remains of the criminal underworld. These occulted gangsters. Oh, apparently occulted is a word. I didn't know that back when we made fun of it. Face, but these Korintokai strut in the shadows. They call themselves Ninkyo Dantai. A chivalrous organization. But they are Boryokudan. They are what? They are Bakuto. Vice peddlers. They took control of gambling in Tokyo in the 1920s. But they went beyond. They found more. Always more. Their connections to the occult gave them an edge against their rivals. They are led by Daimon Kyota. He's a little better than the Oni demons. And perhaps he is even more dangerous in his own way. He knows things he should not know. He has the audacity of a man who suddenly walks on air simply because he knows it breaks an important law. He is a walking obscenity. And... There is something, something behind his eyes. Yeah, just before we continue, I might as well say, the guy is cool in his own way, but he is, to me, sort of the, hey, there's a rule I can break, I must break it! He's awesome. He's out of his fucking mind. <laughs> and awesome. Well, The Secret World, ready? Ready. Yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one, click. I find this term strange. There is no secret world. There is no normal world. There is only the world. I can agree with that, actually. Yeah. Well, the Illuminati. Oh, uh, I can only ask about the dragon. And well, I, we yeah. can only ask about the Templars. Yep. Okay, well, then we'll click on them respectively and then share, our pay, uh, share information afterwards, okay? Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Well. Three, two, one, click. They bed with demons when it suits them, and calls it good business sense. They preen like diseased peacocks until they sense danger. They build mazes that they themselves become lost in. When I speak to the blue agent, my eyes and ears feel contaminated, as though I watched one of those reality television shows or read a comment section on the interwebs. Okay. Right, so um, I'll just start. I She's not just... done. She's not done. Oh. Now she is. Now she is. Okay. okay, that was interesting. Well, I'll just start out by her, you know, comparing us to deceased pic uh, peacocks. And says that talking to us makes her feel dirty, like she read YouTube comments on the interwebs. <laughs> hmm. Or watch reality TV. So, hmm. not a fan, apparently. Uh, she said, uh, yeah, so she said the dragon is flailing about like a sense of meat stick in its legs and eats its different direction. She's thinking about her walking with a thousand legs in a thousand different directions. Something yep. like that. 
and it's not an easy path. It's not, a, not an easy path to walk. Nope. But, but maybe someone must do it. Yep. But he says he wished we would choose better allies. That's pretty much what he has to say. He respects us, but he wished we would choose better allies. You know, like her. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's hear it from the Templars then. Well, on the Templar front, he basically goes about saying that Templars know how to risk or value loyalty, responsibility, traditions, tradition in modern in times. Yep. May, have they know good ways to make demons tremble. Yeah, I can attest to that. And, and then she added on something about yep. Sonic, yep. Our, our leader. Apparently the two of them might have some history. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Anyway, let's um, ask her about her vision. Ready? Yeah. Hi. Ready. Three, two, one, click. The world will always need demon slayers. But demon slayers do not always need the world. I sought refuge in high places. A place of great beauty and great stillness. Apart from weekend training retreats, where the clan shared a facility with the Fear Nothing Foundation, I was huh? alone. Then, dark demons cry, Gaia. Do you know this phrase? It came to me in a dream, and I knew I must return to the city. Dark demons cry, Gaia. Each word a prophecy, and each prophecy a thread which trails into the unknown. The dark has come to Tokyo. So have the demons. A cry has been heard, and the Jingu clan are returning. And Gaia. Well, you know who you represent. I remember Dark Demons Cry Gaia was a tagline they used, and it turns out it's actually an anagram, but I can't remember an anagram for what. Also, they shared facilities with the Fear Nothing Foundation? Yeah. Maybe they thought it would be good training for the young, I have no idea. Kind of overlooked something important there, didn't you, Missy? Anyway, let's take the quest Killers on the Road first and then look at the law. So, Killers yeah. on the Road. The Jinko clan seems to think that the house and exile are behind the events in Tokyo. Ghost and says that there is a hit squad of Oni from that house skulking nearby. Right? Ready? Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Hi. The yokai insult us with their presence in this city. Where they tread, our lands are defiled. Our ancestors cry out for them to be silenced. In Beda, and the House of Exile. They have been a part of the underworld in Tokyo for centuries. Grown wealthy on the teat of corruption. The Jingu clan has faced them countless times. Now their filthy brethren overrun the city. Ichimi <laughs> Why is that not translated like the rest? The house in exile are sending out squads. Assassins. They are hunting targets all over the city. One such squad passed by not so long ago. Find them. Stop them. あなたの居場所はここよ、証し。その怒りをあなたの愛する遊びで発散するの。Well done, good sir. I'm I'm kind of impressed, yeah. But that guy really wants to kill demons. He's probably kind of sad they're not attacking this place. That just made me think of Fruit Ninja. 
Anyway, Law, it's about the Jingo clan. No big surprise there. And who is this mysterious Gosen? She comes from a long line of Jingo clan samurai leaders, including Tokiba Gosen, Shizuku Gosen, Tsuchida Gosen, and Tomo Gosen. What is time to us? We have eye stalks stretched to all ages. The Gosen in every age looks remarkably like the next. Curiouser and curiouser. 